Hi, I'm Paul Bailey from Rotoval. Uh, today I'm going to be speaking about air leakages through rotary valves. All rotary valves leak, contrary to opinion. The reason being is we have a rotor and a housing, which is a mechanical device. You have to have a clearance between the two. Now that is where most of your actual leakage occurs is through the clearance between the rotor and the housing, not in the empty pocket. So by actually reducing the actual clearance that you can get between the housing and the rotor, the less leakage air that permeates through the actual clearance. And of course, with any type to do with leakage, you need to know the system details. So the lower the pressure, the better chance there is to do reduce the actual leakage going through the valve. Any valve that has a head of material will act better as a buffer for leakage air. If you're underfeeding your valve, the air will permeate through the clearances greater than it would with a head of material. So the secret is, have a head of material, tight clearances, that will then reduce the actual leakage air. Valve speed doesn't really come into the equation. It's purely down to the blocking factor in the throat. What do we do with the leakage air? That can actually be done in two ways. First, through vent ports that are drilled and tapped on the side of the housing. Unfortunately, due to the size of the actual vent ports, these have a tendency to block up. So my advice would be is to incorporate a vent divider in the throat that can actually vent off the leakage air from the actual throat rather than the side of the housing. This will actually help in the long term for getting product that is actually transferred back through the leakage air to drop back down into the valve to be transferred through the system. And of course, the other problem we have is leakage air causes greater wear. So the better chance you have of reducing your leakage, the less wear you'll actually occur through the rotary valve and through the system. So again, it comes down to maintenance, making sure you maintain the equipment to a very high standard. Hopefully I've given you enough information to able to assist you with your problems. If you have any issues, please do not hesitate to contact us.